Hello everyone and welcome to Growing Pain. You kind of stopped taking that over by the way. What? The intro. No, I haven't. You have I do it many a time. Have it, well, I have a question to ask you. You do? I do. I'm confused. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? I've seen this. It's not the right answer. No, I've seen this uh, ongoing trend and it is often, I would not lie. That's fucking bollocks. It's not. You've never, ever sat down and gone, oh yeah. I'll it's not something I'd bring Julius up with you. Caesar or something. It's not something I'd bring up with you. However, I would consider some of my values quite stoic. You don't even know what that is. You don't know what stoicism is or anything, do you? No, I don't. Marcus Aurelius and then man. But, but. Um, <laughs> so I would say often, but not in the... Not in the aspect of the Roman wars the, the and all that stuff. More the figureheads of, of the Roman Empire. So you can't think to put the fucking dishwasher on, but you think about the Roman fucking Empire. Are you having well, a laugh? Uh, this, uh, this Are you is having a, a laugh? This is how men and so women walk operate differently. A dirty sink and be like, the Roman Empire. What would Julius Caesar have fucking done? Well, no, but I, I, it's not, it's not like that. It's more like not like that. When I've got time to sit and and I'm say like when you just think of nothing, mm-hmm. I'll just be thinking in my head like, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to be better in my life in this aspect. What would Aurelius and Caesar and that man have done? It's fucking cap. No, because there's good quotes it's from them. Cap. There's good quotes from quotes from them and stuff. It's cap. No, it's not cap. You I mean sa- ever been with you three years and you've not even mentioned anything prehistoric. <laughs> or nothing it's not prehistoric well, it is. Um, because again you are not the person to speak to no that's not the slating me you no, just I don't just... fucking think about it uh, now uh, it's a trend you think about it no it's not a trend it, it, it does, is a trend all, it, Reeve especially is into Aurelius and them man listen you're calling them them man you ain't into it no, there's no respect on it stoicism and that right I like, Ethan's I like, I'd fucking like to be finished a, watching Top Boy, can we tell? I'd like to be a, <laughs> I'd like to be a stoic man. Right. So, how often do you think about the Barbie Empire? Never, I've never even watched it. Have you not? No. Oh, do you know it's on Sky now, so we can actually watch it if you would like. Thank Remember you. when we said we were going to watch it? Yeah, and then you said you're not sitting in the cinema watching it with me. No, but I will and sit... And you told me to take Olive and go on my own. I'll sit at home, though. Thanks. <laughs> ta how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Never. Never have. Never. Not once. Not once. Never. I think you've got Roman nose. Yeah, what is that about? That's kind of a trigger. It's a trigger. To any sort of Roman. I've got a Roman thoughts. nose. You do, it's just very straight. I say he looks like Stonehenge. Like fucking Mount Rushmore. Do you know? I've actually got uh do you know there's like the toe types? Like if you're your you know your middle toe, if that's like bigger than your big toe, mm. there's certain like different type of foot types. Mm. So like Roman foot type uh, stuff like that. I don't know what. Oh yeah, but I think I might. I might. Be, I might. I don't know. You think there's a bit Roman in you? A little bit. Right. <laughs> How's your week been? Yeah, good. I've been doing a horse course. Yes. Yeah, so we've. I get the gist of it, sort of. But right. can you explain to me and the people what this horse course is designed to do? What is the? You get there with the horse. What do you get out of the course? Back pain. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So I do natural horsemanship lessons. Which at essentially our house. is let me no. let me talk to you on my understanding. Go on is that's kind of zesty. It's cool. like dog training for a horse. Yeah. So like getting him to back up, getting him to This is circle. literally it's so long because that's literally gonna be my way of explaining right. that. Why would you train a dog but not a horse? Okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like these ones could actually kill us. So it's like a dog, ton of to muscle, fair. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you want to train it, you don't want the horse in your space, but a lot of people are heavy handed with horses, right? Because they think they're just big muscles for Yeah, exactly. So if a horse is coming at you, first thing to do, whack it, get back. That- well you you say you tell me to shout at them, don't you? Go, ah. Yeah, that's because that's you. And <laughs> I don't think nah. I, I don't say that. I say stand in the field and flap your arms like a div. <laughs> yeah, pretty, like a like a scarecrow waving in the wind. Yeah. So and then they'll get out your way. Okay. Um. But yeah, no, the course is like an intensive training into how horses like um would behave in the wild, like and reading their body language and how you can help them. It's all like gentle ways of maneuvering an eight hundred pound animal. Yeah, and 
because again, lot, maybe some of our listeners have never been around a horse before. Some horses are left brain and right brained. And what does that, that mean? Right. That is right. <laughs> Uh, 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 what you told me before is a left-brained horse is very independent. I think it's the other way around. Is it? I no, so. I thought it was left-brained was more independent and whatever. That's because it, I don't well, know. Uh, it's, it gets really confusing me because I've got, I've got Kelly who is either a left or right and I've yeah. got Pablo who's a left. Like They're both opposite. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of hard to work with them both. Mm. Um, but overall, like the same things that you learn can be applied to both. Yeah. Um, but Essentially, it's, it's like an introvert or extroverted horse. That's yeah, what you get. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like one's a natural leader and one's a natural follower. Yeah. Um, but yeah, working... All horses are followers, work, aren't they? But some are just a little bit more... Well, you get... Um, herd leader that's it yeah. yeah Um. but then they often they like you're in their herd kind of but they'll think their herd leader, leader over you yeah. that's where the issue is Um. but yeah no it's all about controlling a horse like without having to touch it mm. which sounds so stupid like it's not like fucking <laughs> like mind mind games for what people probably think now you have a like it's called a carrot stick so the whole thing is called Pirelli right if anyone yeah. actually wanted to look it up um, it, yeah, I don't know why they called it a carrot stick I don't know the history but it's carrot stick and it's in an extension of your arm so you're not at an unsafe distance so if a horse was ever to like kick out at you whatever yeah. you're fu like far away enough to correct it without having to get hurt yeah um, so yeah, it's all it's all like a natural way of understanding their body language, like understanding like the science of mental tension relief mm. and things like that. Because all I know is if there is go back, he don't like me. Yeah, but that could also be their thinking. It's not just. I really want so the thinking there is go back. Yeah. Oh, Faz. But yeah, they're a lot more emotional beings than people realise. Like they're they're quite um, unstable animals. What? It's an eyelash. Yeah, I, thought, I think I, it fell out my it eye. It did fall like, out my eye, like, And then you missed it again, me. so I had to get it. But yeah. I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, cool. My week was all right. Yeah. Yep. Had your friend's wedding. We did have my friend's wedding. Yeah. Mister. No. Mister. Don't say it. Miss West Ham. Oh, I thought he was going to say Mr. and Mrs. No. And I was like, no. God, she's already told me everyone's been looking her up no, on Instagram. No, no. Now you're looking her account no, yeah. spammer. So we, we did another uh, three weddings this year. We have done three we weddings. Yeah. And I said, Ethan, is it getting you in the wedding mood, my love? And he said, no, I'm done with them now. And I don't want to go to another one anytime soon. Such an ordeal, wasn't it? Sure. Such an ordeal. At least this one was in this country. Props to them. Yeah. Props no, it was, to them. Um, it was so fucking easy. 25 minutes away. It was Beautiful. lovely. So good. It was lovely. We had lots of fun as well. We was uh, having a proper laugh on our table, weren't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, like we, we, we was the, um, the Asbo. Asbo table, really. Asbo. I got called at, um, an Asbo <laughs> by the groom. I come down just from going to the toilet and they was like traditionally sat on their own like head to table, Everyone I'd does say. That, yeah. Yeah. No, usually they sit with their parents. Do they? Yeah, both weddings I've been to, they've been oh, sitting with their every, parents. Everyone I've been to, they sort of sit with their head table, no? No, it's just oh. them two on it. All oh, right, okay. That's what I mean. I don't know what it's called. I've not been yeah. to one of my own, so I don't know. Um, but um, I come down, then my friend <laughs> was like, um, Glenn thinks you're an Asbo. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? It's just and it's because... like an unsociable person. And when I found out, I said, oh, I have you know. I have you know. Yeah. Sir, a ma'am, I started a fucking game on that table. It was because... I was the fucking social It was point. a very intimate wedding and there was like, I think, 35 of us. And we so were the only ones that did was know like, anyone. I think six people on each table or something like that, six or seven. Uh, very intimate. And we decided to play the game Wavelength. And who suggested it? You Mr. did, Asbo but don't Kelly. go around like you're the creator of it. We found I it. I literally founded the game. No, you didn't. I literally created the whole entire game. We played it on more Sidemen and you played it at someone else's event. No, I told you to play that on more Sidemen. <laughs> and then you played it and now you're taking credit for it. You don't even know how to play it. You say the number out loud. <laughs> you, 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 that's, still, you still that's ever just it. just brain fog. Yeah, brain fog, my arse. Your shit, mate. Google still um, glitches, does it not? We had a good time. It was a lot of fun. I uh, thought that was funny, but never mind. I've been eating like a pig since charity match. No, you haven't. You literally had steak and egg. A raw steak. No, yeah, but like it's what I do outside of the steak and egg. It's the... Oh, the parts that you don't share with me then because he makes me have steak and egg for dinner and no, I don't eat anything the, all day. It's the little moons and the chocolate that you buy that I eat. <laughs> That's outrageous, by the way, because I bought, like, we buy little Speaking memes now. We wasn't on the trend when they was about, no. but we can't, we like them now. I don't know why. I just... Fuck. What? No, I did What have I done? I, 
Got sweet oh, in your pocket. Yeah, I had fruit pastels in my pocket, but I've lost them. Ah, uh, that means they're upstairs on the sofa. Oh, uh, Calfrey's it's probably a number now. Fucking annoyed me that. Ah, uh, oh okay. Um, what was we saying? Yeah, I've been eating like pig, but Faith. Has I was so, actually onto something. I but eat. It's okay. I eat <laughs> at the minute. I try and eat for my meals. I try and have like steak, eggs, fruit, honey, like just some healthy whole foods. No, like bread of chickens and that, like easy things. I'm, I'm, even though it is pretty easy, you just fry a steak, fry an egg. Jobs are good and you're getting your cholesterol, getting your fats, getting your protein. Lovely jubbly. Whack some peas with it, getting some fibre. Love that. Faith took control of the, the rump steak last night. And no, in my defence, yeah, well, you, it has worked before, but they were thick, like, they were thick. Yeah. So And it was like blue steak. Faith was... Uh, <laughs> Mine was all right. Yeah, because you air fried it. I did it air fry so kitchen started smoking yeah. our pans are dog shit because you keep putting them in dishwasher so I, was, I, I was, say to him wash them up I was eating this steak and like the grease or, or like the fairy liquid keeps burning well, on I don't know what happened I might as well have gone to the neighbour's field and just salt and peppered his cow he don't have a, a cow he's got it. three horses but um, yes bring up a good point 75 hard got cancelled for me yeah yeah on like day 8 no because Danny Aaron's gave me concussion and I, could, I literally could not train bro you like to downplay everything but you there's didn't have a concussion. You didn't even have to lie down. You went to play video pool field the next of day. Me falling to you the floor. You went to another football match the next yeah, and day. Yeah, felt like shit the whole time. If you had concussion, won't be running ninety I minutes. I'll do anything for the badge, especially the Portville badge. You do had a headache. No, I didn't have a headache. It lasted like three days. I had white spots in my eyes. You see it on video. GoPro smashes me in the temple. I fall to the ground. It was a horrid, horrid thing. Whole whole after party, sat next to you, sat next to you, what was I saying? Call my fucking head pounded. Can't get rid of this white flash in my eye. Are you okay now? I'm fine now, yeah. That's what but the is then. I was raging okay, I'm because... I'm glad you're doing better. You've already heard... You, bro, I was sat there. I was going to go and get on a fucking Peloton at like midnight because I didn't want to fail, but I couldn't do it. My head hurt. You like to downplay everything, but I when it's your turn... If you say, okay, I'm When it's your hurt. turn, you're getting niche now. I'm never hurt. Nor do I. Oh, bollocks. I, d I don't ask. Bollocks. I, d I have pain all the time. It's fine. Take a new FN. Stuff hurt hurting in 20 minutes, wasn't it? What? <laughs> You're a fucking div, mate. Um, FPL update. Very nice. Oh, uh, yeah, I've not checked mine in like three weeks. Faith missed the lie. deadline. So she. it's game week five. I don't think you made many more points than me, no. I got three more points, didn't you? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Many Everyone's more, yeah. had a... Oh, Horrid week, that's why. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, that's not too bad considering I didn't train nah. for my team. I'm, I think, 11 points ahead of you now. Oh. Last week it's it was like one. a long way to go. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, that's what I mean. 33 more game weeks. Go. so fucking long. If you manage to win, I will... Give me 50 I back. think I will run away. I will run away. 50 first. I will run Close away. Close to the contract. I will run away and change my name. To what, Kelly? Alfonso. Oh, we've been having this conversation, haven't we? What? The changing the name conversation. Ethan says he won't propose to me because, not that I've been begging it, by the way, because I don't know you guys love to say that, but we, we had the conversation. I want to be Kelly Payne and e stop fucking fighting on a podcast. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Continue. I just want to be a Kelly at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the whole thing comes, so again, recent wedding we went to, F Faith doesn't want to take my name and that irks me. No, yes. I want to take your name. You don't want I just to. want to take mine as well. I'm not no. saying, no, because otherwise then I just wouldn't change my name. I'm saying I want to put mine there, but Kelly Payne. So if anyone goes, oh, what's your name? I'll be like, oh, Faith Payne. Oh, at the doctor's, hi, what's your name? Faith Payne. Do you want an appointment? Yes, please. Okay, Faith Payne. So what's the point in... Because I not... don't want to lose my association with my family. You're but, not? Yeah. Okay, great. So let me keep it. No. It's a personal thing. I've grown up with a name my whole life. I like it. I want to keep it. No. Like the song that There's they played. So yeah. Many people. Give me all of me. All right. Well, we're not playing that song at our wedding. Well, no, but that that's the lyrics are true, man. Take it. No, you take, take it. mine. Encompass it. No. You take mine. Well then. No. No, that's not what this. No, no. I am. I just believe that that's the that's how it should be done. No. Yes. 
Olivia Atwood Dak. She's Again, this hers. is your one example. All you do is fucking repeat this name. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't feel like that's, it's a big deal. Big that's picture. the conditions. The conditions are if you if you want to be my wife, then you be my wife. I will. That's why it's in my name. But you're half being my wife. You're bottling it. I'm that's not what it is. It. You are. You're, you're shying away from a 50-50. That's what you're doing. That's the best way of explaining it. Do you know how common it is? A lot of people actually merge their second names together. That's cringe. We could be... Um, For pain. No, no, not like that. Like you make a word out of the spellings of your name. So we could be like, Kane. That's so disgustingly Ethan cringe. Ethan Kane. That's cringe. I wouldn't want to do Vile. that. I'm just going to Faith Louisa Kelly Payne. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And do you revisit your thought process on that? Look for husband number two. Yeah. Well, it won't even be husband number two. It'll be number one because this is not getting there. Maybe the first one failed the vetting as well. Mm. Another f- two to go. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, you're, yeah, unlucky. Sure. Uh, Simon Golf video has honked. That's really? what that's done. I've not seen it. Yeah. So it is 10 out of 10. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not great. I've, I've had a couple of those. I've been getting like 20 You've got two 10 to 10s in the uh, back yeah. of the back. Yeah, yeah I know. Great. I've fallen off on YouTube. You actually are a bit, a bit worse now. I'd take my second name if I was you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, um, my, um, what was I going to say? You, oh, can yeah, you tell that views. we've got brain damage today, guys? Yeah, like honestly, big time. Like but this whole school's have knocked me off. I've been up, up since like six in the morning. Yeah. I had to go Wick and Bishop all the cool. way back home, yeah. back into London. Yep. That was some my head in. Um, yeah, no, I've had like 23k views. I feel like I'm... A, I'm, I'm if you was Faith Payne, out. you'd be a superstar. We'll see. It's got to happen <laughs> first, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, when you make the first move, when there's something shining my finger, I'll think about it. Until then, no. I'm not having this, I'll think about it, and then bottle the 50-50, no way. I need 100% die for the badge, ride or die. It'll be in there. No, It'll be I need, so not, wouldn't it? I need it? full kit wanker completely. Sure. So when, when when we have our next baby, when I go into hospital, I'll wash your name, Faith Payne. Why does it matter if it's just hidden in there somewhere? It's deep underneath the barriers. I just want to keep it because I like my association with my family. No. <laughs> uh, Sidemen video stunk. However, we don't need to go over that. It was a good trip to Portugal. The best thing to come out of it was... Us actually just playing golf uh. on, on one of the days. Uh. Um, however, trending topics, XL bully dogs have actually been banned. I know. I saw the message this morning from Rishi. I know. I, um, know. I saw a Facebook post. It's like every decade they decide to choose like an, a, a new dog. dog yeah. Like Rotties were 2000s. Everyone tried banning those. Mm. Um, I do get it because so, some dogs do have, some dogs have a different sort of brain switch in there which does make them a little bit more risky. That's like insuring Hades, our dog, which, by the way, wouldn't even hurt a fly. No. But he's hard to insure because he comes under oh, yeah, dangerous he come, breeding, right? He comes right? under dangerous dog sack. Yeah. But he literally lets Olive, like, climb on him, all, yeah. all on him. Like. So, again, I think this goes down to prove, yes, you can put a dog under a dangerous dog act. However... You've got to look deeper at the owners. There yeah. needs to be... And, and Hades is a rescue yeah. and he's been mistreated and yeah. he's still got a heart of yeah. gold, wouldn't hurt anything. My miniature Dashand, on the other hand... There needs to be more trouble. vetting, I think. More vetting on... We, we said this the other day in the car, didn't we? We said, yeah. like, obviously you can't just ban a whole bunch of dogs. Yeah. Like, but again, I feel like... Like, dog... you should vet the owners on yeah. purchasing. But the dog industry now is like... The breeders just it's want a, the quick money. free bag. Yeah. yeah. Like they will have twelve puppies at three bags each. I've just made a yearly salary. Yeah. Like it's a it's a business now. Yeah. And there's not enough regulation, I yeah. think. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if Chihuahuas are still walking a the street, then fucking and also, the should be able I to. I think like again, if you are this is gonna sound bad, but if you are buying a dog and you know you're not necessarily gonna give the dog the the needs it is gonna get, you can get away with it if it's a little sausage dog or whatever yeah. if you buy a dog that big that can do damage that has that yeah. switch and you're not going to give it what it needs you are putting yourself on a dangerous path yeah 
So yeah, of course, well, they can uh, hurt you as well as well as anybody else, couldn't they? But yeah. I get uh, like I get it because I see so many videos online, and it is always yeah, XL yeah. bullet like religiously always mm. them um, like attacking, like going ham on people, like biting yeah. whatever. Um, I understand there's been a lot of like children reported yeah. in parks, like. And again, like I do get that there's XL bullies over my mum's part when I've been walking the yeah. dogs and they've like not been under control a few yeah. times. They're big, they're big, big dogs. Yeah, they like, big they're things. big dogs. And you think, geez, if that got hold of me, that's doing damage, let yeah, alone yeah. a kid. So I understand the reportings. However, I do think, again, it's on vetting's personal dogs. If, mm-hmm. if a person has gone in and then taken the time to train them and make them a nice dog. Yeah. I've seen some lovely videos on TikTok of you know how, like, people standing up for their dogs and they've been amazing. This might sound stupid. Right. But you know how there's CBT training for like 50cc motorbikes? Do you know right. what I'm saying? So that is just like a base level of training that you have to complete to ride a motorbike or whatever. Yeah, it makes sense CBT to have that training. dog, yeah. If there was like a CDT training, it's just <laughs> like you buy a dog, within the first three months of owning a dog, you have to complete this. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's ag, but it seems like a yeah an easy way to tell if this dog's going to have the life it needs. Listen, there. and the government loves loves scam, scamming money out of people, so just yeah. make them pay for it as well as having to do it, and you're on yeah. to a winner there. Because again... Yeah, uh, I just think it's it's peak to ban because some people have got XL bullies that are probably absolutely fucking lovely. Oh yeah, so I've seen some videos. Like, yeah. I saw someone make like a, a contemplation. Is that it? Is that, like is that the right word? Compilation. There you go. Well right. done. Um, contemplation. Like of a, it was of a ch- chihuahua, like snapping, like he was going to give it a kiss, up, mm-hmm. like that, and then it was snapping, like like growling in its face, whatever, proper going for it, and then the man duetted with his XL Billy, like putting all of his hands yeah. in his mouth, and it was literally doing nothing. Yeah, exactly. So again, it's, it's all down to the dog. So I think it's bad because any dog can bite. Like golden retrievers are renowned for biting yeah. and being snappy with children. So what we're going to do, burn them too? Yeah. Well, it, it says any here, yeah. dog is dangerous if you don't train if you, it. If you're walking an XL Billy in public now. You have to be in the muzzle until the end of the year. Yeah. After that, police will have the power to seize your dog. Yeah, it's fucking That's crazy. That's so peak. I know there's an influencer because I saw it got shared around loads. Um, and he his XL bully, he's got a few. I think he's got like three. Mm. It got seized um, for like no reason. Police took it into their custody. Um, like and all that kept get kept getting shared was the, Met- the Metropolitan Police um, like mistreating the dog and it like was obviously getting sent pictures of the dog or whatever and it was like had like cuts on it it wouldn't mm. eat like the whole cage was dirty no. so the Met don't look after no. the dogs once they've been seized at all yeah. um, and then they d- put it down with no evidence of it ever being dangerous it literally just got seized and they said you can't have it back and put yeah. it down it's quite peak the terminology uh, police use as well they use like terminate the dog yeah that's like they, they use like these crazy but they use that in pregnancy as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I suppose so. Terminate. Um, well, yeah. If like a garlic. Uh, again, a garlic. If you've had a, a Dalek. Terminate. What? what is that? Yeah, terminate. What is it? Garlic. 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 Terminate. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah. Dalek. <laughs> um, if someone out there listening has had a bad experience with XL bullies, sorry, but again, probably majority of them are. I think the majority are really nice, yeah. and I think it's actually a real shame because I think again, muzzling dogs is going to cause them stress. Yeah. Do you want the feet perverts to get on mine? Can I have your socks? No. Oh. Do you want the feet perverts? Uh, if everyone wants to get on those. And I'm aware I look like a fucking... Hey, guys. Faith, t- <sighs> tell everyone what you think Got of pay these. pay for these. I think they're fucking awful. You think they're awful? I think they are so, so bad. Yeah. They've even got fluff on the bottom of them. By the way, they're like barefoot shoes. Yeah. So Ethan is like training... <laughs> I don't know what he's training for, but he's training his feet to be able to walk on natural grounds because we've evolved. Well, fucking obviously, we've got memory foam shoes. Yeah, but that's bad, is what I'm saying. Memory foam shoes have ruined the human foot. Listen, I understand They've that, but, what, what, but what's different, differentiating you when you're 60 to me at your 60? None. You're going to have back pain. You're going to have... You're going to have all the pain in the world and those barefoot shoes are not, are not helping you. I'm taking a stride towards having better balance, better agility, better foot strength. Uh, foot strength? Yeah. That is going to be curling 20s with his toes. Well, you never know. No, yeah, they might do your side <laughs> um, there. My arches are awful. These this will help improve your foot's natural arch. It's just it's just an all-round good thing. But you, you always say you've got flat feet. Exactly. So I'm trying to help and improve my foot. Right. 
so, they're yeah. flat. So I've how's got it going to give you an art? On and I've worn them out the house, and Faith is mortified by that. They look. There's just. It's, but I think they look from the side. It looks like a fucking. It's fine. Look, that's it's a not. I can't believe you come at me for my M and S crepes. Oh yeah, no. I, I, I will, wore them today, by the way. I will say. You can slaughter me about these. That's fine. I don't mind the slaughter. Because, yeah, they, they, they just give me the ick a little bit. Only bit, not because of what they are, but because they make your feet look like a UK size four and it's disgusting. Ow, that's a big foot. No, it's not a big foot. That's that tiny. It's a big that's foot. That's literally guys. as big as my foot, that's genuinely. Foot, that could pass as my foot. But it's not, though, is it? Because that's a size 10. What? It's giving small. It's not though. It's giving tiny. It's not giving anything. It's giving health, athletic performance. That's what it's giving. So these are going to be like groundbreaking for you. Yeah. Right. After a prolonged period. Well, when you get us. shin splints because you've been walking on hard ground, I don't won't. come crying to me. I, I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Should we move on? Sure. Uh, the next thing is Norman's calf. This week for Fashion Week. But we took over a calf to recreate a greasy spoon cafe. Yeah. Did you see that? No. Me either. <laughs> but good stuff. I like Burberry, so I actually reckon. Um, I think they're the ones under fire. So I don't think you should be saying that. Yeah, Balenciaga. So I think the whole. The, oh no 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 no! I think the whole point of that. I kind of looked into a little bit. Was Burberry were like. Oh, here we go. Mimicking. No, you're right. No, I didn't. I didn't. Here, damn rich people. Look, make you fun go. of the working class. Here you go. Getting a lot of hate as it is trying to glamorise working class there living. Yeah. Almost makes a mockery of poverty. Have they gone too far? So now what do you think right. of Burberry? Shit. Um, what do you think of shit? Burberry. We hate Burberry. We what hate I Burberry. think nowadays is that everyone's tr everyone wakes up with a reason to be pissed off at something. Yeah. Just let if Someone's gone to the boardroom with a creative campaign and someone's got to have the ump with it. Yeah. It's the way I, I, I see I did, it. I did kind of look into the video, like, don't sack me yet, podcast. I did kind of touch into the mm. brief a little bit. I watched it. I yep. didn't really understand it that okay. well. Yeah. It didn't overly make sense to me. Hmm. From what I saw, it's in, it, like, in London, there was a fucking um, a full breakfast that cost like £10. Like, that's the same everywhere, hmm. no? Yeah. I like a Weatherspoon's breakfast. Quite cheap, but lovely. Really? Yeah. Never been. Spoons no, breakfast. I've never really been a spoons kind of girl. Should we go spoons breakfast? I feel like we can do better, but sure. Nah, no, spoons breakfast, man. The filth. The dirt. Love it. Yeah, I, again, I feel like there's nothing to really get super pissed off about. Yeah. Someone's come up with a creative campaign to sort of create a cafe mm. and someone's got the ump. Yeah. I think you should walk in Fashion Week. Do you? I think you'd serve. You think I'd serve? Yeah, I do. But I'm not good looking enough to walk in fashion week. You have to. Have... That was so fucking pick me. No. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not good looking enough. But I'm uh, 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 <laughs> uh, no. But it's true. You have to either be like again, like we said before, models yeah. are either unique looking mm -hmm. or just very symmetrical, handsome, good looking men. Yeah, I'm not that. I, I feel like it's usually the first option. I feel like girls are like stunning. I've got skinny. a big lazy eye that drifts off. Uh, yeah, but they're all about being inclusive these days, so you never know. They could be, they could be, fill your line. Plus size lazy eye model. <laughs> yeah, plus size. I'm not. I'm actually quite small now. Mm. Um, right, should we move on? Sure. Strictly come dancing curse. We'll show you some pictures of this year's couple. I think that's true. And it would be good to work out who will fall victim to the curse. Okay. So, of course, uh, a good friend of, a, of of the Sidemen's and mine, Joe Sugg, found love on Strictly. Oh. Uh, Diana. Diana Buswell, the right. red, the red-haired one. Right. Uh, they they fell in love on that show. Right. She had a mister. Uh -huh. Fell in love with Joe. I, listen, I can see He it, actually reversed it. He reversed the curse. He He... Got the singer to break up with who she was with to yeah, get with him. True, true. So shout out Sugmondo. Yeah, true. Yeah, Sugondies. <laughs> Am I right? Sugondies, Diane. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> you proud of that? Yeah. Uh, face a little copycat, by the way. So I got her the other day with Poulon. Uh, mm -hmm. And and then she started trying to do it to Charlie the the whole next day. Oh yeah, me, when I got my teeth done, obviously filmed a video and I was with Charlie the whole day. Trying to um, do Dan Dan. No no no, I was just doing it all the time. And he was like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" And he even yeah. said it to Ethan. He was like, "What's wrong with her?" Yeah. So uh, Dan Dan. Yeah. Right. So first up, we have 
Zara McDermott and Graziano De Palma. So can I say the picture? Zara is obviously with um, with Sam Tompkins. They've they're had fine. they've they've had issues before in the past. Yeah. However, I feel like they've overcome that. I think hopefully did she she was the one that cheated on him though. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think she's gonna cheat on him again. Because that... Once a cheat, always a cheat, but I'm not going to be the one to go there. Because that would be <laughs> extremely peak. It would be peak to do it in the public eye. It'd be silly to do it twice. I mean, but I'm assuming he's Italian. He you is cheat handsome. Much, you can cheat twice. He is handsome, but uh, nah, it is... I prefer an Italian with like short hair. Yeah, like a... Like, a, like uh, an hard bastard. Three, six, five days Tell kind you of man. Scamacca that played for West Ham. Fucking like rough Italian hot man. You know you're in like direct contact with like all the West Ham team, whatever. I don't but really feel is. like you should be saying that you. Uh, he's left now, anyway. Not. He plays. He plays in Italy again now. Okay, Bowen but you're next. <laughs> he's a uh, Bowen just seems like a nice, like happy chappy next. Yeah, door. he even actually Instagram DM'd me yesterday and said, "Do you want to be Bowen's yeah, friend?" Yeah, Danny Dyer <laughs> put on a Danny Dyer put on her story like this outbuilding that they're building in a house, and she put golf simulator pending. Yeah, Jared, you besties. Maybe he, he wants. He maybe did, he wants some flat foot shoes. He, I need to buy some. For he didn't follow me. But he can go uh, play in the we haven't simulator. spoken to each other yet. I almost put that in my mouth. Yeah, we ain't spoken to each other yet. But oh. maybe break the ice. Send him. Hey, how are you? Hi, mate. Do you want to play golf in your simulator? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, uh, Adam Thomas and Luba Mushtuk. So show, show me Emma Dow man, I believe. Can bring close. I've not got my. All right, she's pretty. Emma Dow man. Uh, I think those brothers are usually quite good, though. No, are they the brothers? Scott, Scott was uh, Scott Thomas is his brother who yeah. was with Katie. Yeah, so yeah. I see he's the now, trouble. Uh, no, but he's now overcome it. Yeah, and also the other Thomas brother trains at uh, Absolute. Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. I've Ryan, Ryan brothers, Thomas, yeah. Ryan Thomas. He must be local to us because yeah. he trains in that gym. Yeah, all the time. Maybe you can be friends with him as well. Yeah. So this man was accused of hitting a woman too. Well, there you go. But make her fall in love. However, or knock her I out. think he is a. Uh, <gasps> He's going to overcome that and and shine. And do you think he cheats? Shine. Shine her on the nose. you think he cheats? He, he's got temptation there, hasn't he? Listen, the brothers ain't got good name. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. In the love world, from what I've seen, I don't know personally. Yeah. Uh, this one. But she's a pretty girl, the partner, so it could happen. So the name is Nikita Kanda. Do you know who that is? I feel like I've heard of the name, actually. And Gorka Marquez. That's definitely the geezer. I would assume the geezer is the dancer in this, in this duo. Uh, I'd I would cheat with him. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, I I I think it's the uh, that's a hot man girl cheating with the boy there. Yeah, yeah. I always think these shows are so like risky. Listen, man. I so understand. Risky, man. I've said we've had this convo before, like years ago, but because uh, we always say, oh, if he's too strictly, do you yeah. reckon you'd fall in love with a partner? I I don't I don't I'm too much of a virgin to to think that I would like. Because dancing is just so like sensual, whatever. Like, listen, I, I I see clips and of people dancing on TikTok, like mm. in competitions or whatnot, or, or they have to do improv and then like, the yeah. random people get selected. I'm like, how do you not fall in love? Yeah, like it, how do you like, not fall in love? Too emotional and like, yeah, especially the slow ones and that. Like, Skamaka. Ethan couldn't even Skamaka's slow dance like, with me at the wedding. Mm, yeah, man. No, it's not yeah, for I me. like him lots. No. Um. All right. Well, not going to say anything nasty, but it's giving ratatouille. No. No, really. In the picture you, you said. For the Marquez, Donny. Yeah. Fair dues, man. I don't really like skinny people. <laughs> Cheers. Um, no, well. you know what I mean? You're not fat. You're stocky. Yeah. You're not skinny. Uh, she's a radio presenter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there so, any more? Is that it? That's the three couples. Oh. Zara would be very silly to cheat on someone she's already cheated on and overcome it with. And Sam would also be very cheated. If I was Sam, if, if, yeah. Twice. <laughs> and I'd kill myself if I was Sam and she cheated on me again. Yeah. Because... Oh, if you cheated to get on back me, on that bench. Yeah, if you if you cheated on what, me, what, was she crying mate. on the bench? Oh yeah, we can yeah. something like that. You can, you, you, you can, can. <laughs> you can forgive me. It was funny. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Well, good luck to them. Listen, uh, should we talk about our child for the week? Sure. So, baby, she's pretty much walking. Yes, we have she's progressed, much and we are on a family holiday for her birthday next we week. We are. We she are. is nearly one. What the fuck? I know. It's actually so crazy. How do we have a one-year-old? One-year-old child. I know. And like the way I see it in my head now is, take this amount of time that's just happened to me, 
and not even double it. And she's just going to be like talking to everyone. I know. It's like, crazy. Having convos with them. I know. It is literally <laughs> mental. Like, even now she like waves at everyone in the shops. She loves to no wave. No one waves back. Why is Aye. that? If a Aye. baby waves at me, I'd, I'd always wave back. Yeah, I'd wave. But whenever she's in Sainsbury's or whatever, she... Walks around. Yeah, yeah everyone. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's getting really talented at walking. Yeah. If you hold her hand, she pretty much runs. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she gets but gassed. she finds it so funny if I say, come to yeah. me, come on. And she'll come and then right at the end, she'll start running. She'll yeah. go, ah, ha, ha, ha. Just before we left this morning to drop her at your house, um, I did the thing where I popped her at the end of my legs. My mum's house, by the way, I've yeah. not moved out. Yeah, yeah. I, I popped her at the end of the legs, but shuffled back. Yeah. She was running towards me again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she does like a <laughs> yeah. snorty thing. Yeah, she was finding herself hilarious today. Yeah, she is proper cute. Like, she's she just started getting into, like, books and stuff, hasn't she? She's like, got, like... She'll look into books and she'll proper look yeah. at the pictures. So I've bought her, like, fucking 20 books. She's got, birthday. like... <laughs> what I would say... She's got, like, a full bit of character now as well. Like, yeah, she has. Like, she'll be sat on the sofa with me and I'll look at her and she'll go... <laughs> no. yeah. And then you smile back and you can tell her head she's thinking... <laughs> yeah, she is really cool. She's a cool uh, Cons, however, fucking go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when does it stop surely we're at a stage two well, where it stops well, soon right I, I was talking to the uh, another woman at my horse mm. course and she's had three children yeah because I was like listen like, it's worrying having more than one child yeah. you love it the same because I said we got a second dog and that's yeah. well annoying um, but um, she was like no 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 you'll love it like it's all great whatever um, but then she was like only the girl didn't sleep she's had two boys one girl um, the girl didn't sleep but however on her second birthday just went just slept and yeah. forever slept through since the way, so I'm like, maybe she'll do that on her first. The way I see it is I in my head, I'm like, we're not far away from that. A little bit of understanding with her, I think yeah. it is. Because I just think I'm under the impression that she spends all day with either one of us, yeah. right? So at night time, she's just on her own. Yeah. So when she wakes up, she's like, where the hell was yeah. mum and dad gone? What I also do think there's some of her toys that if I was to wake up out of, like the parrot in the fucking shark costume it's not as scary as he made it sound by the way but, like, really but again if you are just waking up out of sleep and then that's the first thing you see and you can't over i'd shit myself yeah no she did the other day i'd spice yeah. out the cot now so, um, like one no more. but yeah it's the, the, the i'll tell you what she really isn't ag at all she's a good girl she's, she's really not ag other than at sleeping all. she is really she's good a breeze. and she's right naughty for me for sleeping isn't she like so i was funny. trying to i put her in a bath i give her a wash they've come down last night uh i was watching the the burnley forest game uh, come down last night after bathing her and stuff um, and I had recorded with Simon in like 15 minutes Faith come down put her on the floor Faith starts smacking to us dropped the bottle next to me and was like she won't go to sleep at all mm. picked her up Within five minutes, didn't even need the bottle really. Straight to sleep in my arms. <laughs> then she I, honestly takes the mitt. I popped her on a cushion because I had to go into the office, <laughs> and she just stayed on the cushion. Honestly, like I try her in my, I try her asleep in my arms. I try her asleep on my chest. Like we sit in the chair. Then I put her on the floor because she's crying, and then she wants to be uh, like she wants to be with me again. So she's with me, and then she's crying to get down. So either you got to make your mind up there. You either want to be held or you don't. So then we tried the big bear. Like Hamley yeah. sent us a massive, massive. Bear. Right. It's gigantic. Yeah, it's so big. Um, and then I tried snuggling down, lying in that because she liked that before. Nope, wasn't having it. So I said, Ethan, got to help me. And then, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. She just always sleeps on Ethan. The bubby hole, me. man. The yeah. bubby hole. Yeah. It's good. It's getting there. Yeah. <sighs> Out. God. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to sleep in my arms. Yeah, I like it. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? But yeah, we are going on a family holiday. I'm excited. It's our first little. Holiday is the three of us. I think it's, it's actually our first holiday of the year, no? No. Uh, I would Excluding count, I would, weddings. I would count the weddings as... Would you? I yeah. wouldn't. Everyone else was there. And it was like three days. I've That's not a holiday. Been, In Italy, we didn't even leave. I went stag do. <laughs> leave well. the thing. I went stag do with it. Okay, so you've had it, yeah, but I'm saying as us. And even that, that's still a hard work. That. <laughs> as us, we've not been away. No, our, our last holiday together was Mykonos. Uh, and that was when I was seven, eight months whilst pregnant. the child was in the belly. Yeah, yeah it's so been so well, Technically, we have yeah. been on holiday together, us three, but just in a different way. Yes. Um, but yeah, she is now out to see all of the fun activities. Yeah. And we have six nights, by the way. That's a... It's a long That's old a good time. holiday. Yeah, it's a good old I'm holiday. I'm ecstatic. Oh, yeah. I've never been before, have I? So I'm excited. Yeah. Um, Can we say where we're going or not? Yeah, fuck it, man. We're going to Dubai. <laughs> Woohoo. Yeah, we're going to Dubai. Well, you're, you're becoming well travelled since uh, becoming. I am. Olive has been to like as many countries as me. <laughs> She's lived a great life. She has. And, and, and you was like, I'm not flying any less than business. 
I, I so Oliver's going on bougie this, fights. This comes down to because this sounds really out of touch. Um, no, listen, however, if they had it, they'd do it. When I was like 20, maybe not even 20, younger than that, I got flown out to America by our YouTube MCN network and they put us on a business class flight. I'd barely flown out of the country before that. Yeah. It ruined flying forever for me because yeah. ever since, it's like seeing the other side. Do you know what I mean? Like I got a whiff of it. Yeah. And now I'm in, again, touch wood, I'm forever in this blessed position. Yeah. And now I just love it. Yeah. I just no, love I it. No, I get it. If the tif tickets aren't that different, I'd do it as well. But I'd, Im I'd imagine to Dubai, they're quite different. Yeah. So it's not it's not the end of the world, but mm. hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. There you go. We're going on holiday. Yay. Well, yeah. We'll bid you farewell. We are going to have a great time in the sun. Yes. Uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, I really want to go on the ski slopes and stuff again, please. Yeah, you keep saying that. We are taking our child, babe. I don't yeah, know. I don't know how. Oh, just... look, look, daddy's coming down the slope. Oh, so you go. Yeah. I sit on the side. <laughs> yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Mum tax. Nah. Um, you can have a go. Thank you. On my own. <laughs> Great. That's a good laugh though, isn't it? Uh-huh. Um, however, guys, please rate us five stars wherever you are listening. Uh, that would help a lot. Yeah, it would actually. Uh, okay. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you all being over there. Like the video. Leave us some nice comments. No, oh, don't beg it. Well, you, 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 what do you mean, don't beg it? You were the one saying, oh, I'm not good looking. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but, but leave us some nice comments. If you've got something nice to say, say it. Yeah. How about that? And if you haven't, don't. Don't let the bastards get you down. You already said that on this podcast. I say, it's a good saying. Right. Yeah. It reminds me of the old war poster. And hopefully next time I see you, I will have better feet. Bye.